Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So the equation of this circle is given by this. So looking at the equation, this bit here tells you how much the circle has been shifted up by. So from here to the center of the circle, the distance is, is capital R. And this bit here tells you the radius of the circle. So, uh, so the radius of the circle is small r. So uh, we are going to, to get the area of this circle and rotate it 360 along the x-axis. When you do that, you will trace out a 3D solid. So work out the volume of that 3D solid. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, th there are several ways of doing this. Um, I I'm, I'm going to show you, first. I'm going to show you the inefficient way of doing it, and then maybe in the in the video, in the next video or two, I will show you a more efficient way of doing it. The reason why I'm showing you the inefficient way is because I want you to have a greater insight into what's going on. So, and again, there are several ways of doing this. So, to, to work out the, uh, the volume of a 3D solid, we, we are going to, um, we're going to sum up all the shells. So, we're going to sum up all the shells from, so, so if you look at the thickness of this one particular slice here, the thickness associated with this one particular slice here is, is y, dy. So really, we need to integrate it with, uh, something dy. And then we're going, we're going to need to integrate it from here all the way to up here. So that's from, so from this bit here would be, uh, capital R, take away small r, and then up here, the upper bound would be, uh, capital R, uh, plus small r. So, uh, so, so we are going to sum up everything, but as, as we're moving up here, we're going to need, so if you, if you look at this one particular slice here, we are going to need to uh, to times this by two. Then that will then give us the whole uh, the whole distance here. And once once we've got that whole distance, we will need to times it by well, we need, we will need to times it by the uh, by the circumference of this circle, which is p um, two pi, and then and then we need the radius of this thing. Well, as the radius of this thing here is given by y. So so once we've got this distance here. Uh, once, once we've got this, so we are moving along here, but as we're moving along, we need to times it by two. So when you times this by two, you will get the whole distance here. Once, once you've got this distance here, we, we will need to times it by the circumference of this circle, which is two pi y. Um, but, but the thing is, as we're moving along here, as we're moving along here in the, in the dy direction, as we're moving along here, we're going to need to know the, the distance from here to here. So, so we're going to need to know the, the x distance from here to here. And then later on, we can times it by two. So, so, so as we're moving along in the y direction, because we're moving along in the y direction, as we're moving along, we're going to need to know the, the, uh, the, the x distance. So looking at this thing here, we will need to know the, the x distance. Well, we, we will need to rearrange this to make x a subject. So looking at the equation, Rearrange it, uh, so looking at the equation, rearrange it to make x the subject. Because, because if you look at this here, we are moving along in the, uh, in the y direction, but as we're moving along in the y direction, we will need to know the, the x distance along the y. So we, so looking at this, we will need to rearrange it to make x a subject. So, uh, so now we, we can just discard this and just look at the positive version, just, just to keep it simple. So the equation, the equation of that 3D solid is given by this. Okay, so, so now it's just a matter of evaluating this. I will continue in the next video. Okay.